even outside e-com, I'm talking about inflation. I'm talking about weather. I'm talking about temperature. I'm talking about a lot of a lot of different factors that are not directly related to e-com impact the user behavior on e-com. Because this is the most important fundamental thing that a lot of brands out there, a lot of people who work in e-com, um, uh, see e-com as an isolated system. They see the brands, they try to bring users. It's a bit more complicated than that. Because, for example, weather impacts the user's behavior and then the user's behavior impacts the sales on site, right? So you need to understand how is weather impacting the user behavior. And then you have inflation, for example. Inflation, uh, the cost of living in, in different countries, different areas, even within a country, have a huge impact on the user behavior and the preferences. There are a lot of studies, for example, that that were done even in the 80s and 90s, which show, for example, uh, an interesting fact, which show how inflation or the cost of livings impact the preference for a specific color on shoes or jeans or shorts. You see, Klaus, it's, it, it has to do a lot with psychology. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, economy, the world economy, it's all about driven from user behavior, right? We buy stuff, the economy keeps going. We don't buy stuff, we get stagnation and we get a lot of other issues, right? So that's why... For, uh, for the economy to grow, the consumers have to spend. And then you have this, this sustainable cycle out there, right? And that's why understanding how users are feeling, how users are behaving, and the factors, external factors, inflation, weather, cost of living, competitor uh, data, for example, prices, is very important to understand the user behavior because this is where the user journey starts in e-com. It doesn't start when the user lands on your store. And we have seen that. And we have measured it mathematically and statistically and also with AI that if you want to, if you, let's say, try to predict the user behavior, what the user is going to do on site just based on the, the click stream data, it's not going to be as accurate as, for example, incorporating external, all of these different factors that are externally. Let, let me jump in there. Um, maybe you can give our listeners a, a real life examples how your system with causal AI is helping e-commerce brands to identify and to overcome sort of where they get stuck with the user behavior. Yes. So um, within e-com, because traffic is driven from different channels, and there are like different times of the day, 